Bach. A composer of great importance, Johann Sebastian Bach lived from 1685 to 1750. He took established musical styles and arranged them in a way that we would call them masterpieces. Works of outstanding artistry or skill. Bach's music still inspires many people even today, more than 250 years later. However, how many people outside of musicians know about Bach? Not many people know uh, who Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach is, and I think that it's, he was very important for the history of music, and music is very important for society too. The reason I chose Bach, there's two reasons. There's the inspirational reason, which is that nothing, I don't know of any other composer whose music transcends boundaries like Bach. Jazz musicians love Bach, pop musicians love Bach, rock musicians love Bach. You name it. I mean, African drummers use Bach. It's just, um, it has this appeal that is, I think, pretty much unmatched. Um, that's the inspiring, inspirational reason. So I knew, I knew, I had no doubt that if I went and played Bach for people, they would respond because people do respond to Bach. And the second reason was he wrote six cello suites, which is about three hours of amazing music. So I also had plenty of material. Subways is a day when musicians play classical pieces to inspire future generations to enjoy classical music. This international movement was founded by cellist Dale Henderson in order to sow the seeds for future generations of classical music lovers. This could be achieved through generating public interest of the art form from musicians playing in public spaces. I think it's great to bring music into daily life and off of the pedestal because that's the only way to keep it alive. I think it surprises people in a really good way. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the raw emotion that you feel when you're live in a space with the vibration of sound is the most powerful thing. And so it's not on a TV, it's not on a stereo, it's right there, you can feel it. And that's, that's really what it's all about. It's incredible, it's exhilarating. I think that's the number one word that comes to mind, how Bach and the Subways has grown. It's like, Exhilarating, um, very, very, <laughs> very, very exciting. We've got um, thousands of musicians all over the world. They're going to be out offering Bach to the world and sharing their love and their joy uh, for this music on March 21st. So it's it's wildly exciting and exhilarating. And um, I mean, it hasn't even happened yet. I'm excited thinking about it, but actually living through that day is and seeing you know there's going to be footage online of all of this all over the world. People are out playing Bach for, for other people, so it's gonna be pretty, pretty amazing. It, and it's a very rewarding experience, I would say that, yes. <laughs> Keep going. I think music, music has shaped my life entirely. <laughs> and in ways that I, I couldn't have grasped when I was a child, and I think I'm just coming to realize. I mean, music is really my life. I think it's made me a better person. I think it just um, all the, the difficult emotions and the and the good ones too. I just it's um, I don't know. It, it it helps play it out in a positive way. Um, I mean, it's a way of going into the darkness without hurting yourself. I want a renaissance of classical music. I want in this country and in the world. I want people to see to be standing up and cheering and getting excited about classical music. And when I first when I first came out of my mouth, I thought, oh, well, that's kind of ambitious. And then I realized, why? Why is it ambitious? People are standing up and cheering about the Super Bowl and about uh, Taylor Swift. This music is fantastic. There's no reason why why we can't correct the misperce misperception of you know the world at this point. A lot of people in the world that make them realize this music is completely exciting, sexy, Whatever it is, you know, that they, they don't realize it is, I want to correct.